Okay, I'm just gonna go and get this started because I want to finally complete this so I can, so I can not have to worry about spoilers and everything. But yes, so um, in between, I did go ahead and just get through all the challenges at least once. So now I have a full log, and um, my hero gear is pretty much all upgraded except for this last one, which I don't know, we may or may not need. I don't really use small fry that much to be honest. Um, not sure if I will be needing it later, but <laughs> we'll see. So let me just go through the logs real quick since I finally have um, all these completed. So the fall of humanity. As technology advanced at an exponential pace, 
So too did prosperity and ultimately conflict. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. In the end, nearly all life on Earth was wiped out. As humans squabbled, disaster, natural disasters intensified. Volcanic eruptions leveled cities. The sea rose and began to consume the planet. Humanity experienced a mass extinction event. Soon, the surface of the Earth became a barren wasteland, completely inhospitable to life. Error. Against the odds computed to be near uh, 42,791 to 1, some humans survived. Therefore, the planet was only nearly completely unhospitable to life. I mean, there certainly has to be other life forms besides humans, but okay. These survivors found shelter in, the, in a vast cavern created by a cat's cataclysmic volcanic eruption. The cavern provided shelter and the massive pool of accumulated seawater provided life. For a while, uh, for a while humanity was decimated, um, marine life flourished. All mammals of squid, octopuses, and jellyfish have propagated in the deep. The surviving humans have found a source of substance. The rights of civilization. Again! The surviving humans appointed scientists to, be, to lead their new society, believing that science would provide a wiser path forward. Fully empowered, these scientists took on the moment, moment, ugh, <laughs> uh, monumental task of establishing a sustainable ecosystem within the cavern. They dubbed this new society Alterna and began the process of recreating the Earth they had once known. Of course, not even scientists are immune to nostalgia. The humans began constructing large-scale 3D printing operations. This allowed them to recreate some of humanity's favorite artifacts within the confines of Alterna. Additionally, they created a robust information management system designed to intelligently uh, rec record all of humanity's precious knowledge. Such a system would naturally require some sort of record keeper, a computer that could honestly observe and record data. The scientists achieved their aim with the development of Orca, also known as the Unlisted Recording Computer of Alterna. Those sure are some large-scale 3D printing operations. <laughs> a new sky. As life and alternative move forward, one scientist discovered a new way to make liquid crystals from the body fluid of squids. These new crystals could change color in response to faint and fleeting electrical signals emitted by hum uh, living organisms. To put that in more human terms, these crystals could read minds and then output imagery that matched the viewer's innermost thoughts. Humans were enchanted with this new invention and began mass producing the crystals. Eventually, they lined the walls and roofs of Alterna. As the crystals absorbed the collective desires of those in Alterna, they assumed the appearance of the sky as they was seen on the surface long ago. At last, after 25 years of being confined beneath the earth, humanity could once again look up and see the sky. That's kind of sad. Humanity's final day. The years passed with prosperity. The population of Alterna grew like a rising tide. The scientists, now the elders of their kind, believed they had done all they could to advance the human the civilization of Alterna. They began selecting new leaders to succeed them, entrusting to them the world they helped build. Humanity's new leaders inherited both the brilliance of their predecessors and their unquenchable thirst for innovation. This new generation, born and raised in deep alterna, could, would prove to be every bit a match of those they were to succeed. They soon grew restless at the sight of the liquid crystal sky, believing that they deserved to behold the reality that exists um, outside the town, the, the cabin. Which, I mean, I mean, 
a ballad, I guess. The elders who knew what waited outside the safe haven of Paterno issued stern warnings to the brash young scientists. Yeah. Nevertheless, the young scientists pressed on with their plan. The construction of a massive rocket ship to escape Alterna. Sally, as the boosters were ignited for the first time during a launch test, tragedy struck. The energy from the rocket boosters overloaded the Cambrian's liquid crystals. A violent and terrible chain reaction ensued. Without warning, the stone walls of the cavern began to shatter, raining debris down upon humanity. Alterna, the last civilization of once prosper prosperous humanity, was no more. And those few who escaped the carnage were soon followed into death. Fresh intelligence awakens! As the inner walls of Alterna collapsed, thousands of tons of rock and liquid crystals uh, plunged into the waters below. As these crystals washed to and fro among the flotsam and jetsam of um, humanity's former colony, they broke into microscopic fragments. Because they had repeatedly absorbed and reflected humanity's wishes over so many years, the crystals retained those feelings. Little by little, the squids, octopus, and assorted sea creatures that thrived in the waters of Alterna absorbed these crystals into their bodies. This process continued until, one day, the marine organisms began to feel something, something fresh. These fresh impulses bore a striking resemblance to humanity's passive desire to return to the Earth's surface. Spurred by these impulses and whatever else may be floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed culinary respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with land dwelling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace while across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage abilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. Of course, survival on the land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon, they found the tunnels that humans had used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh fleeting beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. Good lord. <laughs> Truly. The lower Splatoon. <laughs> Gotta be fresh, I eat the crystals. I suppose that's what happened. The land of fresh beginnings. The beings that had emerged from the waters soon emerged from the cavern of Alterna itself. From there, they flourished quickly. It wasn't long before they had explored every corner of the world. This epochal event gave great significance to the crater above Alterna and its surrounding territories, now referred to now referred to as the Splatlands. Okay, so this is literally where we are. The region would, from that point on, be known as the land of fresh beginnings among the creatures that now thrive on the surface. These new evolved beings, having scattered themselves across the globe, soon gave rise to distinct cultures and unique weeks of life. Out of all the species now roaming Earth, squids and octopuses soon distinct, uh, distinguish themselves via intelligence and fresh vibes, so to speak. It wasn't long before they became the apex species of the planet. What about the birds and butterflies and everything else? Now I must fast forward a bit. 5,000 years later, <coughs> 5,000 years later, a peculiar individual was born. The squid quickly rose to fame in the Splatlands due to some unique characteristics. Yes, this individual was embraced as a prophet, gifted with numerous revelations that they shared among their fellow squids. It was another turning point for the squid kind. During this period, the foundations of for 
modern and cephalopod civilization were laid. That individual squid is now widely known and celebrated as the progenitor of modern day inkling. What? <laughs> Hold on, what? Where did that come from? Okay. Anyway. Um. <laughs> yeah, okay. I did not read that last part uh, because I was, you know, doing other stuff. What was I? Okay, so. Now what? Oh, right, wait, wait. I think we actually go here and visit the things that we collected and see if it's actually a helicopter. Paint water first, oh my gosh. Yeah, so apparently I've been kind of slacking on drinking water again <laughs> since I've been playing some too. <laughs> it's really bad. Okay, I think it's pretty clear that we have to get into that rocket somehow. Are you ready to try this? Let's go. Yeah, we only have one upgrade left and I don't think we'll be needing that badly, so... The captain's saying, this is the final confirmation. Are you really super ultra mega sure you're ready? Alright, let's go rescue Gramps. Am I ready? I don't know. Sure, I'll manage. Gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. Yo. Oh boy. Wait, one hot minute. Oh boy. You didn't think we were gonna just give up, did you? Tell me you didn't. Giving up is for the weak. Do we look weak? So, last chance. If you don't want to tangle with D Cup, put down the treasure and walk away. I don't think we'll need it anymore, so I mean, you guys can have it. <laughs> what they said. <laughs> oh, that thing? Yeah, we're done with it. It's all yours. You're done with it? Done with treasure? What's wrong with you? What? <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> plenty, but don't worry about that. If this pile of junk makes you happy, you can have it. This is the truth, right? 
You expect us to believe you're just gonna give us the treasure after, well, everything? Wait, why am I fighting this? Well, thanks! I feel kind of not good about each of us fighting you to the death. How bad? And you're just giving us this? Seriously, such a boss move. Actually, why would you be our boss? Me boss, can I get a raise? <laughs> oh my gosh. Aren't they like TV stars? Are they okay? <laughs> Looks like you have your own employees now. Have fun with that. Oh, I'm gonna have to improve their time cards, aren't I? <laughs> Where have I seen them? Where have you seen them? Where are they? Where is he? Where did they go? <laughs> all right, all right. Well, actually. Yeah, I don't have access to um, photo mode anymore, so I guess I, I should probably say no on that. By the way, does anyone know how to put pictures in your lockers? I really want to put pictures of Kelly in my locker, but I don't know how. So right now it's just filled with shoes. Okay, we'll get grabs again. Okay. All right, here we go. They took everything, all of your hero gear. Hey, we, we didn't exactly surprise them, did we? We just charged right in. If I'm first setting a trap for you, I'd be doing the Yay, the trap worked! dance right now. And we do it anyway. It's a fun dance. I see your gear. You should be able to get it back if you make it through this. What do you think, Agent 3? You had your small fry. Are you gonna give it a try? Well, would you be going in, uh, in there, fresh out of ink? Who am I kidding? Of course you would. You know, um, this is really cute and all, but I think it would be better if Off the Hook and Agent 8 made a cameo. I suppose they might be um, saving for that for the like actual DLC, but. You know, kind of miss them. Let's 
see how can I get up there? Maybe this is sinkable? Yeah, but I want I want Agent 8 and Agent 3 to hang out. Or I guess Cam 3, technically. I guess the good thing about small fry is that you don't have to worry about weak on me. Oh, can I drop down here? No. Okay, I'm probably not supposed to drop down from the edges. That's fine. Okay, well, I think that's Bryo's way of sniffing out a key. <laughs> so glad that they actually like how you do something. to us and yet and yet I know what they did to me in Samurai Run. You know I kinda feel bad for these out there. the scrolls yet so um I'm gonna have to go back and do all of that I finished the alternate logs and um 
that's the most I did. <sighs> Alright, we got our gear, gear back. Careful, Agent 3. We've already seen a few traps. There could be more. Okay, where if I... Oh, <laughs> that is the way to the next area. Um... Hang on. Don't you think we should get a move on? Look for another way in, Agent 3. There's gotta be a one way around here. Okay, well, I can't open my menu, so I can't pull it back. Um... Thanks, what all? Where's the girls? Send me! I'll do it! Profitable new era? Man. Why didn't you ask us, Mr. Gris? We will have done it for you. <laughs> Also, the view up here is pretty nice. <laughs> I love how the- Oh! Aww. Uh, I was about to say, I love all these cans that you can just like knock around, but okay, I guess I'm not allowed to do that anymore. Okay, one thing I have to say, um... Was it really necessary for us to have Ninja Squid? <laughs> like, I had to get it to upgrade other stuff, but like... Uh... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Ninja Squid can be kind of helpful for some shuriken weapons, but at the same time, um, in single player or primarily a shooter, I'm not sure if I would use that. <laughs> Warning, this is a restricted area. Entry is prohibited. Or as close while launch sequence initiates. Have a nice day! Alright. Wow, nice dance. We break her, my beloved. Oh, hold the stand? I guess I'll do it. Flash that one more time, huh? 
I mean, okay. You know, on paper it does look kind of cool. This is at least easier than Auto Attention so far. Sorry, our special sucks in multiplayer. Here's all the satisfaction we admit to have. Uh, yeah, Splashdown is cool in theory, and like the Super Jump Splashdowns are always satisfying when you get like you know those surprise kills. But ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I know we've had a few false grand signals, but I'm pretty sure he's on that launch pad. Oh, and how in the world are we supposed to get over there? I don't know for sure, but if we can't get into this uh, building on the right, maybe we'll find an answer. You know, maybe Grand Strap told them about Auto Expansion. Oh. I have been extremely diligent. The secret knows me. Probably not. I don't see anyone else to go. Yeah, we work so hard for you, Mr. Cruz. This is a unionization for um, Mr. Cruz to let us into the rocket. Can we turn on life or something? We'll have to rely on other senses, like sharks do. Thank 
You know what's funny about Splashdown is that um, I'm pretty sure you can splash down cancel inner agent treaty and offer expansion too. So it's like you'd be like that, huh? So this is why you don't super jump and race. We climbed, we unclimbed, and now we're here. I hope Grass is really at the launch pad. Still not sure how to get there. Hey, I can see a pipe that connects to the rocket. Bye bye, Fry. The pipe is definitely big enough for Agent 3 to fit. Um, what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Very brave to volunteer Agent 3 like that. What are they? Are they still there? I can see Callie and Marie and Catherine, but where's Deep Cut? Guess we're going. What happens if we go off right now? Oh boy. We're in. 
Looks like we got more climbing to do. We'll be rooting for you. Safely. From the ground. Far, far below. Thank you. I really love having some bombs play on Steel Mode. <laughs> okay, but it is five idols or Mr. Grizz? It's a good thing Callie's here. Long preparation is nearly completion. Uh, please exercise care near closing bulkheads. Rude, it shut us out. I guess that was a no go. Huh? Hold on. Look at those floating energy cores. And that's a switch. Look at me, I'm helping. <laughs> okay, hear me out. We get the energy cores, we flip the switch, and then something, right? We won't know unless we try. Let's go. I'm trying to learn the distance of this. 
I definitely must have a few games yesterday because I didn't um, calculate my distance well. Ah, let me get this. I know, but I'm kind of used to doing that from uh, my own playstyle. The next session is nerve-wracking. Okay, I'll do my best. Emergency systems activated. Releasing bulkhead number two. That was fire. I think that's the way out. I bet it opens the same as the other, or the bulkheads. Keep cool, you're almost there. that we were playing the bottom corporation. Oh. 
Which, by the way, is on sale right now. Um, uh, Mr. Grizz, before that, can you fix the slamming lids and flying uh, fly fish and maybe blow flies, fog level? <laughs> um, there's a lot in Samurai that has me kind of like, hmm. Are these like better teammates? Because, don't get me wrong, it's at least better than professional. I'm still getting teammates who only get like three eggs <laughs> total. <laughs> yeah, the mud melts are fixed, but still. <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa! I can't believe Dress is dead. Mr. Grizz! That's so freaky looking. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> for more work hours. No, I don't want a break.
I noticed a little bit too late that we were turning. 
Foul rice. Oh, for uh the Emo Two thing? You have a point, Mr. Grizz. I'm not built for space travel. Yes. I promise you I can pay up for it. Like I always do. Okay, is that all of them? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow, that's a classic whale. Was it just really strong? They gave it 333 HP. Makes sense. I am! But, Mr. Gris... <laughs> Why would you do this, Mr. Gris? <laughs> After all I've done for you. Oh my god. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> uh. 
is this little buddy becoming a boss salmon? What? What is happening? <laughs> Oh my god. No, it's just a literal salmon. <laughs> um You know, Mr. Gross, this this could have gone totally differently. If if you just enlisted us to help. Oh, I actually have to keep okay, I see now. <laughs> because I did not know what I was doing at first. I'm not sure if I can do this. <laughs> so, um, I didn't know we were supposed to go forward. <laughs> oh, 
Go stand still. It's okay. This is what Mr. Gris wanted. On that day, a massive fuzzball was born in space. Navigating this thing is a little bit awkward, not gonna lie. Oh, that hits us too. Okay. Okay. Here. Yeah. Can't stop me from working for you. my job back. Well, I guess we technically saved the world, but now we're unemployed. The 
This is so sad. They got back fast. Oh my gosh, big man, no. It sure is back. <laughs> Broken news. <laughs> I would love that. They need to go on tour with Off the Hook. Mr. Grizz, come back! I demand you give us a job! Please. No! Just vibing right now. Oh, no problem, Zeri. Kind of sad you can't throw bombs. Yeah, we did get him the X for his plan. It was all us. And I'd do it again. something about a secret boss or something maybe if I find that maybe I'll try scream, scream it um, if not 
I will still do it. Secret level, okay. Yeah, if I have a point like that, maybe I'll do it like real quick before, um, I don't know, a Zenon or something. But yeah, my impression of this was that it was definitely really fun and a whole lot better than the story modes that we got in 1 and 2. Um, I would still put Octo Expansion above this personally because the challenges were a little bit more... Um, I don't want to say just harder, but they were a little bit more complex and more... more they were less forgiving, which means that, you know, um, you actually have to try a little bit harder. That's my feelings about it anyway. However, um, as story mode goes, this is supposed to be like kind of a tutorial for new players. So I definitely understand why they made it the way that it is. I don't think it would be fair to make it um, as difficult as Octo Expansion. But they did a really good job showcasing all of the base weapon types and all of the specials, I guess including Splashdown. We finally get to feel like Splashdown is cool again for the brief moments. <laughs> Thank you, dev team. Please fix the servers. Cool. Hero mindset replica. Suit and boots. Oh yeah, and the hero shot. <laughs> Ah! Okay, so it, it literally just happens. And I got a new badge. Wow, well... Oh, wait, no. That was not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> um... Okay. Hang on. I could at least see what the secret level is about. So, uh, how's Cuttlefish? Nice! Continuation! Still flat. <laughs> and you were there too. Well, yeah, sounds different. <laughs> Boo, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> so let's see, where is... Where is Cuttlefish? Okay, well, um... Where is the... Secret place? Am I just gonna have to find it, I guess? In which case, I might as well just find it on my own first. 
Oh, I woke up. Oh, they're like behind us, okay. Capture Alter now. Reach the goal to gain access to the blank log. Alright. It, it's long. How long are we talking here? Well, I have plenty of eggs. How they kind of tie that together. Like, um, is the Emberhood after story mode? Isn't that gonna be kind of awkward? tomorrow or something. I don't know. Um, first off, hey Chad, do you want to summon after this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Well, hello there. Hello. Oh my gosh. Mr. Gris, you're not looking too hot. All right. Well, um. Oh, it's flying grass again. Oh no, it's... This weapon rotation's a lot better. Is it? Uh, well, I guess... Flash, um, yeah, 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 we have the dynamo now, so that actually takes good care of Goldie stages. Thank yeah. god. I was losing it after all those global eyes. That and, like, the, um, the previous rotation... It was a lot. It was the best 
It was a lot. <laughs> okay, let's just steal one because then I do have to feed my cat. That's important. Hey, do you like my suit? I like it. I want to get Oh, I have a little battery. <laughs> let's go! Hi, hi. Nice. 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 Also, oh, hi Tommy, we're actually ending stream. <laughs> um, but thank you for being here. Ending on a victory or No, I do have to go feed my cat. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, but I'll be back after that if you want to go for more. Um, I just want to be like 54 already. <laughs> um, I can explain. Um um I've been playing. I'll say. Yeah. So here, let me. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, so I have um, a lot of bronze scales now. Um, I'm gonna go for this banner first. I really want this one, but I have not been getting lucky getting gold scales. Yeah, I think I've got three right now, so... Yeah. Mr. Grez is alive and well in my heart. I continue to serve him. Even if he doesn't want us to! Okay. Okay. Cowboy. Bear boy? Like in tier 4 or ranked. Um, Little Judd now wears a headset for some reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, I also have the remote clear now. Yeah, cool. Anyway, I am the dead tired champ. <laughs> Alright. I'm from the gotcha. I am now Ultra Illusion. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm gonna send you guys to Erica, who's playing Ultra Kill. I don't know anything about that game, but I've seen a few people play it on my um, watch list. Anyway, all right. Um, I might do the secret bonus level tomorrow. Depends, and then maybe some more salmon? Question mark. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for being here. I hope you guys have a great start of the weekend.